Hello everyone. So I'm just here to give you a quick look around the latest Radar Opus 2.2 version. Now the first thing I want to show you is the welcome page which is now different. Um, what, what we've done here is just we just want to support your learning as you first become accustomed to the program. So clicking on any of these icons will take you to a custom playlist that we've made in YouTube. So this first one, you'll see quick start video one, two, and three. Uh, the first one shows you how to simply drag and drop rubrics to a clipboard. And the second one here will um, just give you a, an initial start to using the search function to find rubrics where you're not sure um, how to navigate to them directly in the repertory. And the third will take you to um, the patient file video. Now you'll see that we've got subtitles for them all as well. So if you're not an English language speaker, you can click on the um, preferences icon here in YouTube, go to subtitles and then choose the language that you speak. And hopefully that will give you a good uh, a good starting, starting off point in learning Radar Opus. And once you've mastered the basics, you can go on to look at advanced analysis searching, patience, you can go to the Facebook group and at more learning videos that icon will take you to our uh, website which has an academy section. So I'm just going to close this now and I'll say yes to seeing that the next time. I'm going to show you some of the newest features in Radar Opus 2.2, which is a free update to anybody using 2.2. And if you choose to update now, you will get the, the latest version. So let's get straight into it. Um, one of the new uh, buttons we have here is to hide the toolbars and clipboards. So you can see when I click the button that everything gets hidden and I get a lot more space for um, working in the repertory or if I was reading a Materia Medica again you know it's about maximizing the space there okay and anytime you want to see again your toolbar and clipboards you just click that button so it's a nice one click operation so I'm just going to close that Materia Medica there with the shortcut which is Command W on a Mac. And then let's move on and show you some uh, some other new features. So if I uh, go to the Keynotes of Aconite, you'll see here a new button for um, the cure.com website. This is a uh, Jan Shelton's website. It has information on his uh, plants and minerals and some other remedies too. So you'll see Materia Medica here and you can check the uh, family information that he's got here as well. So again, if I wanted to just <clears throat> make that bigger, I can hide all the toolbars. Okay, so that's the uh, cure button. So another function we have is in the analysis window. So there's a whole suite now of new functions from within the analysis. If you right click on a remedy, you'll uh, you'll see the context menu has um, more options on it. So you can highlight the remedy, which uh, you know we could already do before. So let me just go ahead and highlight several. Okay. And then if I right click again, I've got an option here to consider only the selected remedies. Now, whenever I click to a new clipboard, it will only show me those remedies with the new set of symptoms from the clipboard. You can see none of them feature and uh, that's why they've all given naught there. Okay, and any time that I want to change that now I can clean the remedy filter and uh, that would you know if you imported or recalled an analysis that would uh, remain there so it's it's quite handy in the way that it works 
Uh, the other nice thing you can do, right click on a remedy like sulfur, and down here I can limit to family members. So um, let's say I want to go for periodic table, stage 16, select. Now the remedies that come up are all part of stage 16 uh, by chemical compound. And again, if I move to a different clipboard, those are the remedies I'm going to see. So if I click again, right click again on sulfur, choose the family members. I could also choose to look just at the compounds of sulfur. Okay, so it's really very flexible way of working with a family limitation on your analysis. Before you had to uh, click families, type sulfur, choose sulfur and compounds, right click and limit the analysis. The problem with that, as you can see, is it's only linked to one clipboard. Now when I click on another one, I lose the limitation that I was working with. So now it's much more flexible. Let's say I want to look at um, family members for NUX. I can go for the Loganaceae, just select, then click on a new clipboard, any clipboard, and it's just going to show me Logan AC remedies. Another example, right click on NUX, limit to family members, and we can go a bit bigger, we can look at the Asteridae. Okay, clean remedies, and then let's try another, show you another trick we can do so you can also hide all family members so let's say i want to get rid of all the minerals i'd go to hide and then select minerals and select so now i've only got plants and uh, some animals or nozodes there <clears throat> so let's also hide all the plants so I just go up the family tree to plants and select. Now I'm left just with the animals and, and nozodes and other um, imponderables. Now I can click on any um, clipboard and see very different group of remedies coming through. And if you've, if you've hidden remedies, the list will come up here when you click on it and I can select all and then show selected remedies again. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of uh, some of the new features in 2.2 and I hope that was useful.